In this short video, we're going to cover a new tool in the WebEx Control Hub located in Migrations. And it's at the bottom of this Migrations page, and it's called User Contact Synchronization. So what is User Contact Synchronization used for? So the purpose of this is when you're not doing the directory synchronization or manually using a CSV file. So basically this will take all of your users in UC Manager and it will migrate those users into Control Hub. So this is an alternative way to get your users into Control Hub without using the directory synchronization method or using a static CSV method. So let's take a look to see how this works. So we basically have a blank slate here and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing up here is a prerequisite and this allows you to set your synchronization preferences. So if I go into settings here, the first thing to note is that contact synchronization is not yet enabled. This is a roadmap item, so we're not going to cover synchronizing your contacts that could be in UC Manager to the WebEx Control Hub. In fact, what we have here is a whole bunch of methods to filter out your contacts. So, for example, in my UC Manager, if I go to end user, I have three users in my system and one of them is for the help desk. So this allows the end user to do a search in their contacts for help desk and then call the help desk. But I don't want to import the help desk into Control Hub. So I need a way to filter it. And so what I can do is simply check this box here and type in help and that will filter it out. There are other methods to filter it, such as not sync from LDAP, the manager user ID is missing. So most of your users in UC Manager may have a manager user ID. So if that's missing, that's another technique. If there's no device like a phone associated, if the department is missing, or if the department ID contains a certain field. But in my case, I'm just gonna use user ID contains help and then I'll save and that'll filter out that help desk contact. So the next thing I need to do is go here and I need to export all of this. So I go back to the bulk administration utility and I will do an export and I will give this a name and I will select all and then I will go ahead and run this immediately and then click submit. So we'll go back to upload and download files and we'll just give this a minute or two to generate the file. Let's go ahead and check to see if the file has been generated. And there it is. So I'll select this and choose download. And we've downloaded that to the computer. So now we'll go back to WebEx Control Hub and either drag and drop or search for that file. So I'll go ahead and open that file and now it will go ahead and process that data. So let's give it a few moments. So it is now complete. So we see there are three imported, one contact to be sync, zero contacts already in WebEx, one user to be synced, and one user already in WebEx. So essentially if we click the review button, we can see that it has already filtered out the help desk, right? So we had already entered that the help desk, anything with the word help as a keyword would be filtered out. So we have zero invalid email. We have one user already exists in WebEx. So this is deliberate. I am just to show you what it looks like. So Natalie Tucker is already in WebEx. So it's going to essentially skip that. And then it has two telephone numbers and extensions. So you'll see this if you do not have the numbers in WebEx Control Hub. So I'll click Next. And this is the contact that it's going to filter out the help desk, which is what we want. 
and then I'll click next. And then here we get some errors. So one user already exists in common identity. So again, this is what you will see if you have already migrated a user or if that user already exists in Control Hub. So Natalie Tucker already exists. And then two users are missing telephone numbers or extensions. That is because the numbers do not exist in Control Hub. So now what I'll do here is remove this item from the synchronization list. And since that user was a duplicate, we don't want to resync that user. And now we can go ahead and start the synchronization. So I will select Start Synchronization. So you can see here it's saying Syncing Identities. So let's give this a, a few moments to synchronize. And if I navigate to Users and then search for that user that we imported, Zig, we can see that he has been successfully imported. So I hope this video has shed light upon user synchronization. Thank you very much.